तो आई वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट आउट दी परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड ए पी आईज बिल्ट यूजिंग रस्ट जिग एंड गो बट इफ यू हैव वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो कंपेयरिंग रस्ट एंड गो देन यू प्रॉब्लम ऑलरेडी नो दैट इट डिड नॉट गो एज आई प्लान ड्यू टू डेटा बेस इशूज इन रस्ट एंड जिग आई डिसाइडेड टू डिवाइड इट इन टू टू पार्थ वन कंपेयरिंग रस्ट एंड गो एंड दी अदर वन कंपेयरिंग जिग विद गो so in this video i will be comparing this dap framework from zig against the standard library of go so if you haven't watched my previous video then please do check that out so just like my previous videos i will be using auto cannon and postman to test these apis and both these apis will be running on a vm with following configuration both the apis have exact same endpoints with middlewares on put and delete routes For database, I will be using SQLite, and it has a user table with 10,000 users. This was my first time building anything in Zig or Go, and my methods may not be perfect, so do take these results with a grain of salt. So let's kick things off with Auto Cannon. So Auto Cannon will target the base endpoint, which fetches all 10,000 users, and within Auto Cannon, we'll do three tests. First one with 50 connections, two pipeline factor, and 2,000 requests. Next, we'll do 150 connections, zero pipeline factor, 2,000 requests, and finally our heaviest test with 100 connection, three pipeline factor, and 10,000 requests. The performance of Go was more or less same as the last time, and things went pretty smooth for Go. But as soon as I started the test for Zig, it reminded me of how bad of a programmer I am by giving me a memory leak. Three hours later, and after a few hours of debugging, I was able to make it even worse. One eternity later, but after some more debugging and using not so good methods to get the data, I was able to fix those memory issues, and was surprised by a super low memory usage. This time the memory usage was similar to that of Rust and far less than Go. And after running all three tests in Zig as well, I got the following results. Let's start with Go. So in first test Go took about 24 seconds with 1.78 GB data read. In second test it again took 24 seconds with 1.87 GB data read. and in the final test it took about 118 seconds with 9.16 gb of data but zap only took about 18 second in first test 20 second in second test and only 83 seconds in the final one now the amount of data read is lower than that of go but that's because the response was slightly different so if i put these results side by side we will have zap being 6 second faster in the first test 4 second in next and about 40 second faster in the final test now if we remove the component of different amount of data read then we can check out the read speed per second so for first test zap had about 98 mbps of speed whereas go was about 76 in the next test zap was again over 90 with 93 mbps and this time go was almost 80 with 79.8 mbps but in the final test zap almost touched 110 mbps Whereas Go was the exact same as the last time with 79.4 Mbps. So overall, Zap was about 12 to 24% faster than Go in this test. So next up we have Postman. So unlike Auto Cannon, in Postman we will be testing out all five endpoints, and I am expecting about 10 to 20% of error rate, and that's because of these three endpoints. So if we take a look at the get endpoint, we are fetching a single user. Now I have a script that is generating the credentials for these users and these users can range from anywhere between 1 to 10000. Now the update endpoint targets user between 1 and 5000 and the delete endpoint targets user between 5000 and 10000 which means the longer the test runs the more error we get in delete and get endpoint. Now in this test I am setting a ramp up load profile with 25 virtual user and 5 minutes of duration. Now if I compare both the runs side by side the difference in performance is very very clear
Ziggs started out strong and just kept on increasing its lead over time. Now Go still did really well, it had about 15,000 total requests sent, 49.66 requests per second, 40 milliseconds of average response time and an error rate of 12.84%. But Zig was still much much faster. It had total request of 17,800, 58.05 requests per second and an average response time of 12 milliseconds with an error rate of almost 17.5%. If we break down this data into individual requests, we can see that across the board, Zig was much much better. In fact, the only metric where the performance was comparable was the minimum response time and even there, there was some pretty big differences. In fact, this performance is a bit too good because this is even faster than what we got using Postgres with Rust and Go. Now with this, Zig has proved to me that it is the king of performance but it has also reaffirmed the old saying of with great performance comes memory leaks at least for bad programmers like me so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one